a lot of people say, I like spirituality but I don't like religion. You know, religion seems to be too much about dogma and teaching and ritual. Spirituality is a more inner thing. Looking at God as spirit, spirit is all around us, but spirit is within us. So it's, it's doing the journey within and trying to find that spirit within. Experience that spirit, live your life out of that spirit, do all you do out of that spirit. So it's really the inner journey and uh, the discovery of one's consciousness and the consciousness that we share with God. Spirituality for me is all about what you do with that fire that burns within you. Um, because all of us feel a longing, an incompleteness perhaps. And some of us, when we feel that incompleteness, will go and lose ourselves in alcohol and sex and drugs and stuff like that, in partying. Others of us will grasp that that incompleteness can only be filled by God. And so it's, it's all about what you do with that desire. It's, it's obviously a way of life because one is doing it because uh, if I take example St. Ignatius, I'm a Jesuit, um, that for him, the prime reality in our life is God. So to be in touch with God, to experience the God within, the spirit within, to live your life out of that, that transforms you. Spirituality is about transformation, making you a more God-like person, a more divine person, a more Christ-like person. So it's about uh, transformation. I like a definition that's given by Tom McGuinness, and he says that spirituality is about listening to those deeper levels of our experience with a sense that what we find there at the very depth is completely trustworthy. Ignatian spirituality is drawn from the experiences of St. Ignatius of Loyola, of his own prayer life, and his experiences of helping others to reflect and grow in their relationship with God. It is a way of life, a spiritual way of proceeding. When Ignatius underwent this conversion experience, it was a very deep inner experience, and then he went to a place called Manresa, where he deepened that for about a year. And so for him, um, the prime reality is God, and the God all around us, and the God within us. And so his spirituality is about this inner journey, discovering this God within, um, experiencing it. He had deep mystical experiences, deep experiences of the consolation that you get when you're in union with the Spirit and then acting out of it. Ignatian spirituality is now a particular way in which we go down into the very deepest levels of our experience, into the very deepest levels of ourselves, uh, find out what's there, and then do something about it. And Ignatian spirituality gives us the tools, if you like, of how to deal with that fire that's within us and how to channel it in a specific way and in a specific direction. There are a lot of little labels we have in Jesuit spirituality, and I think they summarize quite well. One is AMDG. This is Ad Maiorum Dei Glory. Um, it's, it's doing everything out of the, for the greater glory of God. It's not about you. It's about discovering this God, where you find your true self and bringing this God to others. Ignatius uh, developed a tool known as the examine, the examination of conscience um, or consciousness which is a tool that we use at the end of the day as Jesuits and those who follow our Jesuit spirituality, Ignatian spirituality, whereby at the end of the day, we will look back at the day and say to ourselves, um, how, have we, how have I been walking with the Lord today? Where have I been able to receive His grace um, and cooperate with His work? And where have I been ignorant of His grace? Um, and where have I blocked God out and say sorry for that? To thank Him for the grace that I've received, to say sorry for the places where I've failed to recognize Him and respond to His presence, and then to ask for His grace tomorrow. And to look ahead for, uh, to tomorrow and say, look, Lord, this is what I think I'll be facing with tomorrow. Um, can you help me? Can you give me your grace so that I respond better to your presence in my daily life? Spiritual exercises is... Um Coming from Ignatius' own experience, his prayer experience, and when he spent that long time of prayer, almost a year, in Manresa. And, and so he worked out 
from his own experience, a, a good method, a way of praying over four what he calls weeks. And um, it's, it's a, a journey into, into God. So the first week is, we can call it the purgative way. It's, it's a way of freeing yourself from all your inner addictions and habits and sins. Then you go forward into the second week is the following of Christ. Then the third and fourth week is experience the death and resurrection of Christ. That is the basis of our faith. And, and you know, to be a risen person with Christ, full of the spirit of Christ, full of the love of Christ. So it's a, you can do that over a 30-day period. You can do it over an eight-day period. You can do it over a weekend. You can do it in everyday life. Men and women for others is a concept of collaborating with Christ in living the gospel values, helping others through charity and also being there, listening and speaking on their behalf. Also responding to the call of the King, being on mission with Christ to redeem and heal the world. So the concept of magis comes from a Latin word that means the more, and it's, it's just an encouragement to really be on fire for the Lord, and that fire that burns within you, to direct it towards the Lord and give more. So just to, to keep on striving, because we've never ever, we will never ever get to the stage where we, we can say, now nah, I'm giving God 100%, never ever. Uh, magis is that concept that there's always that bit more that we can give to the Lord, um, and it's, yeah, it's, it's, it comes from Ignatius himself, from his life, where he was a soldier, first of all, for the Spanish king, and wanted to win glory both for himself and the kingdom. And so he was always about going that step further to get more glory, to more and more ambition. And then he transferred that, that experience as a soldier, to being a soldier for Christ. And so there was this, this kind of longing and this motivation within him, this fire within him to say, I can do more for Christ. I can win more souls for Christ. St. Ignatius says, see God in your life drama, that is in relationships, workplace, with the family, you know, aspirations, desires, even in nature. God is speaking to us, according to St. Ignatius, every day. It also means engaging God in activities, meeting Him and dealing with Him. This is an awareness of God's presence all the time. Ignatian spirituality in my own life has really helped me understand who I am and what God is calling me to do, little by little. Um, it ha has helped me uh, be patient in the times of trial. You know, our lives are up and down. And when you're in the dark valley, Ignatian spirituality helps you a lot not to give up hope. And when you're on the top of the mountain in high consolation, it also helps you not to get carried away with it um, and keeps you grounded and earthed. And I think, most of all, helps you make sense of the whole gamut of human experience. It doesn't just limit your understanding to what I do in church, but it helps you see with clearer eyes every single aspect of your human experience. Having lived this life, also working with people on their pilgrimage, on their way of life, doing retreats, I have learned to listen to my heart. I have learned to say, where is this consolation coming from? Why am I in desolate? So it has helped me a lot to grow as an individual, know myself, know my energy, what energizes me, what makes me love who the person I am. And also, when I saw people coming for retreats, desolate, but going back, in consolation. Or when somebody came and said, I don't know where to start, cried, and then at the end said, I have received graces from God. This has actually boosted my own spiritual life. Oh, yeah.